Hey everyone, welcome back to Barcast TV and to the Bar Pro League. Featuring another match here from Group A between two of the highest rated players in the game, actually. This is going to be Stardom versus Chisada, or Yui, as he's otherwise known. Playing as the Blue Armada Commander. And we have Stardom over here playing as the Red Cortex Commander, who's opening bots first. Bot lab first, rather, into an early LLT. That's interesting. So for some context here while this game gets underway, Chisato, aka Yudi, is from FAF, I suppose you could say. So one of the recent migrants to Beyond All Reason, and who's obviously playing very well. He's found himself contending for the round of eight here. Just has to win this match. This is round two, by the way. So he just has to win this match here, and he advances. So that's what's on the line here. The loser goes to round three, or the loser's winner's final? I'm not sure exactly what to say that. But he has one life left. What is uh, going on here? So we have an early LLT. Commander's moving out. Radar on the high ground, pretty standard. This looks very similar to how Andy opened up, I remember, on this map. Leaves the, leaves the main base a little earlier than you might expect. Meanwhile, Chisada here is working on a construction vehicle and has quite a few scouts out already made. So hasn't lost any yet, but is just looking around, sharking around, trying to find damage. I think he can actually get this radar if he wants to micro it, but it's pretty risky against a couple of grunts here. So I've made some changes to the UI. This is how I actually would, colors I would look at when I'm playing. Let me know what you guys think. I just turned the platters up, the up, pace, up, uh, what is it, the transparency of it up some. So those are bright, brighter than normal and we're at a darkened map, of course. So let me know what you think about that. I think it's nice, the contrast is easy to look at. Stardom continuing to inch forward here with his commander. I'm wondering when he's going to make some additional solars. He doesn't quite have any metal in the bank. What do these statistics look like? So a little bit more for Chisato here so far, who's expanding with the single con, grabbing this second max here. Is going to be adding an LLT. It's really nice, well placed there. See, this commander is continuing to move towards the center of the map. So really good position here going to start him as soon as I say that I noticed these two exposed construction bots look like they're about to go down here that's four blitzes just gunning right towards them some repair micro goes off reclaim micro one of these blitzes is getting really low but finally these construction bots get targeted and go down instantly there huge pick off there from Chisato grabbing those two early cons it just a lot of damage here, and I don't think he's done getting damage, but there's still two blitzes that have yet to be dealt with. It's just, just a couple of grunts. There's another blitz in the back. This one, this LLT is kind of shooing it away for now. wonder if he's going to rotate around and look for extra damage, but... We have more and more blitzes streaming across the map. This is... Looking like it might spiral out of control here in, a, in the next few moments. We'll have to see where these tanks actually go, and... Is Chisato going to be able to get any more, any additional damage with these? See, finally he's moving out with his commander. Getting this radar up. Building a con. This is a clean, pretty clean open here, actually. I like, I like this. As soon as he wants to let off all the pressure, he just makes an eco, um, adds on build power and moves out of the base with this commander. Pretty cool to see. So it looks like he's picking a fight here with these two LLTs. I don't mind this too much. Assuming he knows the commander's move towards the middle. Trades a couple of those blitzes for a decent amount of eco, actually. Because the stardom actually has hasn't there's a lot of missing mexes here. Still very even on metal though. Chisato sharking around with these initial blitzes here. And finally, we see some res bots coming out. So this might be a way for Stardom to get back into the games. Can he get enough value quickly enough with these res bots to contend with this growing vehicle army? So 
I mean, what are we up to? Seven blitzes now. Another rover back in the mix. mix. That might give Chisato a reason to move back out on the map with some added vision here. Meanwhile, well, Stardom's looking for some counter damage, but there's already an LLT here made. Really well placed. He's going to go after it. One of the grunts goes down. Gets us around here, though. Five grunts beats the LLT. Continues to move forward. Nice nice pick off here and a little counter punch. Pulling some blitzes back to the line. Giving Stardom a chance to expand to these three mexes. If he can lock down this area, he might really swing the game back into his favor. Denying those three mexes to your opponent for any length of time on this map is huge here. And these two construction bots are back at it. LLT almost made. It's like these grunts on the right side of the map were cleaned up. A little bit of reclaim left over, and this construction bot is going to come down here. Retake this position here. This one in the bottom right is continuing to expand. This is where things can kind of feel so daunting playing bots versus vehicles. Is it's so easy to miss one of these one of these uh, constructors here, engineers in the bottom, and they just get away with expanding for free for so long. Blitz is looking for damage, but there's enough enough grunts here in position to deny this. But look, these three mexes still have yet to be taken, so he's got the three in the middle, or two in the middle, rather, but I like how consolidated this uh these blue pieces look compared to compared to stardom. So when LLT gets D gunned down, he's gonna try and get up another one. That's not where you want to place it. Stardom's pulling back, and we're even out of E in the moment. Stalling on E hard, so no D guns available. Wouldn't want to get dived on then. And this next LLT is going to get D gunned again, so trading. What is that? 50% of your HP for the position. Wasn't able to quite maintain those three mexes, but. Are we going to get a commander snipe here? What is going on? I see a lot of grunts moving towards the middle of the map. And an exposed commander, but these blitzes are in tow. I don't think you can quite get this trade. That commander's so low. I mean, it's 50% HP, right? A little run by here on the right side of the map is getting dealt with. Okay, maybe no snipe just yet. See, these two armies kind of counter punching here at the moment. There's a lot of blitzes. They're just diving right in here. Taking out a mechs and a solo collector. Not bad. Coming back in here. Denying these two mechs again. Blitz is doing a good job cleaning up this grunt attack here. Meanwhile, Blitz is on the other side of the map. I've just found the main base un completely uncontested. This is not going to end well here. Construction turret goes down immediately. LLT isn't going to stop it. This is game ending damage, I'd say. Look, I mean, all the solar collectors are going down. Huge damage here from our blue player, and Stardom's going to lose his factory, so he's going to have to find a way to end of this game in the next couple of seconds. Otherwise, we're going to be going to game two. Last construction bot goes down, and this factory is going to be destroyed. Run by on the right side of the map is going to get cleaned up. I mean, there's enough blitzes on, over here by the main base to defend the counterattack, and Shishado just has to not die here in the next 30 seconds, pretty much. We'll see what Stardom what he wants to do. Uh, he's remaking his solo collectors here so he can actually afford a couple of D-guns. But you know, every second that goes by is just another second Chisato has to make a couple more units. And he's just going to tap out. So we're going to go to game two. See you guys in the match. So, full context here, while we're waiting for this game to load up, I was told this next game, or this series, was one to watch, so that's why we're here. 
if you guys have been enjoying these bar pro league matches let me know in the comment section hit the like button subscribe to the videos i should be casting a few more of these matches leading up to the round of eight that's going to be next week saturday the 24th on the beyond all reason official twitch and here we are, game two. Bar Pro League, Group A, round of 16. Spawning in in the red pieces. Playing the Cortex Commander, we have Stardom. His opponent on the right side of the map. Playing as the blue pieces, we have AFF's Chisato. Playing on Canis River, so here we are again. Really been enjoying this map. I think it's a pretty solid macro map for sure. Been seeing a range of play. Vehicles versus vehicles. Bots versus bots. Vehicles versus bots. So really cool to see. A little bit of micro juggling here is getting up the wind turbine while that's cooking. Letting the solar collector just kind of decay away. Yeah, interesting decision there. Didn't reclaim it or finish it. I don't really mind going double solar. See his opponent start him three max, four wind turbines into a bot lab. Doesn't want to stall E, so he's going to move off of that, do a little bit of a juggling here at the start of the game. Player's really specific about how they want to spend this starting uh, starting build power. And Chisato is opening or choosing to go for this vehicle plant on the high ground plateau here so this is an interesting decision compared to what i've seen from other players so he's a little more protected here on the high ground a little farther away from the geo i'd say and just these expand expansions on his side of the map air quotes his side of the river compared to stardom's position so really centrally located here can be attacked from pretty much every angle but he can also expand from every angle so we'll have to see how this affects how this affects uh, the game as it progresses here. Chisato is going for core vehicles. Might not be as popular as armor vehicles. This is an interesting open here. Seems kind of like um Rag Ragnasau. I've seen this from a few players. Look at the look at this um geometry here. So he's got this like wedge with the LLTs, the factories between it. And he's blocking off this section behind his main base. Just with the two LLTs. And he's already moving out with the commander. This factory is protected so he can go two construction bots first. Uh, this is a pretty cool open actually. I like this. Three construction bots? I wonder what he's going to go up to here actually. Doesn't have anything queued up just, just yet. Meanwhile, Stardom's opening fairly greedy himself. He's got a res bot already reclaiming this energy. Which is really strong. One construction bot already expanding, another one going up to the plateau behind him. It's got a couple of grunts already made. Radar is just finishing, so a really solid open from Stardom. I like this. Notice these grunts expanding all across the map or just attacking in these lanes here. Should be able to find any units that Chisato may be throwing at him. And already with this double construction bot game, or maybe he's just grabbing the mechs, yeah, coming back and assisting the factory. So he's out of metal at the moment. Trying to get up this radar. Where is he going to go next? going to put down an LLT with the commander and then continue expanding. I would like to see at least some scouts being made, but just idling with the factory, trying to get up a couple structures. This is pretty pretty cool to see another LLT. So a really safe open here from Chisato. Very turtley style, but... Doesn't want to take any chances here. Being up a game in the series. Another expanding con out here for Stardom. Perfectly, perfectly content to assist the factory with his commander. And he's behind on metal, 500 so far, only four minutes into the game. But a head on energy produced. I wonder if that includes the reclaim he's gotten from that first res bot. So we'll have to see how Stardom uses these grunts to find any damage. But 
Shisato's been playing so safe. I mean, look at these LOTs just placed all over the place. <laughs> Single grunt gets through. Oh, he's just calling the game. It's all over. So he's going for he's going for the construction vehicle. No reclaim micro just yet. He's gonna get it. This is huge damage. Grabbing a construction vehicle with a grunt is just total gold mine. He's gonna get more for it. Two more mixes and maybe another wind turbine. Just thought I was trying to get these tanks out. Should should help uh, cleaning up these these grunts. He's gonna get another construction vehicle. So we see the reclaim micro goes off. Construction vehicle can out reclaim a grunt if I'm not mistaken. So it definitely wins that little micro interaction there. So kind of stops the bleeding for now. It sucks to lose a con, but I like I like this position here. He's got a radar coverage. He should know he should be able to get some tanks in position here to stop this. Not the end of the world, but we see more grunts streaming across the map. No transition quite yet, just continuing to add on cons. We've got what is this? Five expanding cons. Pretty cool to see. Just developing across the map. Really important here as a vehicle player. And going even more more greedy here with that build power. So he's got his construction turret finishes continuing to make these. We see one construction bot, six grunts on repeat out of the factory. Jusato's made his way all the way to the opposing Geo here. He's stalling on energy at the moment. I'd like to see him make a solo collector. Yeah, there he goes. He's definitely got the metal for it. Have to take a look back at the main base. Construction turret up. This is a pretty solid style here. Pretty solid vehicle open, I'd, I'd say. Let's see how they, I see how all these grunts do against the uh, huge self-destruct there. Nice control, control D micro. Picks off all of those grunts. You don't see that too often, but that was really well timed. Nice little counter damage here, picking off a decent amount of grunts, getting on top of the LLT. Is he going to be able to get this construction by? He might be donating a little bit of metal here. And he gets a construction by. He denies this expansion for now, but Stardom has the res bot out. That's a lot of metal here. 600 metal just sitting right here. He can replace or resend a couple of these construction bots. He's working on another turret right now, but both players... Not quite stalling for, for energy at the moment. The shot is about to run out of energy. Trying to get up this construction turret, so we're going to have to make a couple more solar collectors with the commander. That's what we see right now. Pretty interesting Sim City here. Uh, Stardom continuing to add on E. Got this single construction bot in, on the plateau here. Trying to scale economy that way. And a res command issue for just this area here. No micro on picking up the uh, engineer first. I would like to see that out of Stardom there. And then going into like a reclaim even. But another, another uh, excuse me, a couple more res bots are going to be showing up here. So it's going to really help and assist that. The build queue has even changed up, so we've seen a couple of thugs and grave robbers added into the build queue. A single scout comes comes through, gets dealt with. And stardom has transitioned into air already. Really, not, really clean play here. Didn't stall on metal too, too hard. Notice how cheap these... Uh, Paralyzer drones are 60 metal a piece. I feel like those were, um, I feel like they were cheaper at some point, but yeah, still relatively, relatively inexpensive compared to their grunt counterpart. Really well timed LLT coming online there, deflecting this run by attempt. And both players are just working on securing their half of the map, and notice. How quickly uh, Chisato's done it. He's got these exploiters here on the outside peripheral expansions. He's locking down this attack path with his commander. Pretty cool forward radar here. On the bottom right, we're working on two exploiters. 
So really working on locking down his side of the map. Sarum's working on the same thing though, right? He's got radars coming up, LLT spread out. Pulling up these paralyzer drones, I'm not sure if Chisato is aware these are out, but here we go. First engagement's gonna happen. It's gonna reveal these drones for now. Pick off a lot of these tanks. Four get stunned immediately. Four more get stunned and all these tanks are gonna get cleaned up by these grunts. Really nice trade here. Don't run into the exploiters though. That's what you don't wanna do. But hey, I mean, he's got the drones out. A fighter shows up, and <laughs> runs into the cliff. Does a somersault, comes back and starts ripping through the paralyzer drones. What an incredible pilot. That was amazing. <laughs> Those two exploiters went down. That That's kind of wild to me, but um, that was an excellent trade here, leaving a bit of a reclaim field forming. So I'm wondering if this is going to be like a point of contention for the next couple of minutes, these players rotating their units towards this side of the map here. And these drones aren't done getting damage here, so two more LOTs go down. Letting these grunts rip through this position here. A nice, lot of nice damage. Meanwhile, this next wave is kind of pooling up in the back line. These grunts are going to get dealt with for now, but... I feel like they've got a lot of value. A couple of exploiters are here, a lot of tanks. It looks like this position is at risk. I don't think Stardom knows his opponent stalling on E at the moment, but... These two exploiters are definitely vulnerable. Same for the... For, same for the Khan. Moves back to his side of the map though, so. Really needs to consolidate his forces and find a way to deal with his opponent's own paralyzer drone. So fighters going at it already. Love to see these high level players go at it. They're already moving into the air phase of the game, so. Chisato's worked, uh, finished his own Geo, so really cool to see and instantly adds on six, uh, six energy converters for it, so. Pretty cool to see that ratio, and has moved on to three factory production, so moving it, working on that vehicle transition. Same for Stardom. Pretty cool little uh, SimCity here, just that narrow, narrow lane for his opponent or his units to kind of snake through. And I sense a battle is about to form here. See a lot of tanks posturing for both players. Stardom really still still using these uh, bot tech, and I want to say I saw Chisato making a factory over here. I think he just reclaimed it, perhaps. A lot of metal sitting up here on this high ground plateau, so these grave robbers are gonna start getting their value. Chisato working on securing this high ground. Securing his half of the map. Nice anti-air here with the exploiters and the radar. It's just so far away from things to push and like deny these ex ex uh, deny these expansions to your opponent. But Stardom's got a foothold on his opponent's side of the map, and he's got thugs already here, which. Are really strong units. I've been I've been really enjoying using the thug in uh, in my games lately. Really microable unit. Repair is so strong with the commander. So I think we're getting ready to form a battle here. Just kind of posturing for the. Where does Stardom want to send these tanks? Looks like he wants a fight, but he's just spreading his units out, trying not. Trying to like get, get into a disadvantageous position here. So Char Star Chisato steps forward for a moment, pulls back with his tanks. Really nice control here from both players. And we're just building up units for a for, for a moment here. Look at Chisato has moved into this uh, a solar economy. He's reclaimed all of his solar collectors, and is just relying on this geo and a solars. I love to see that super efficient with his economy here. I'm wondering if he's preparing for some kind of T2 transition. See, both players are very even on metal produced. And Stardom, speaking of T2, has gotten a T2 vehicle lab out of himself and is already making Tiger tanks. Has a T2 mechs already finished and is continuing to upgrade his mechs. So, not revealing the fact that he is 
move to T2 is giving him a lot of opportunity here to kind of leverage the economic advantage. That's going to lend him and start him stepping forward. I don't really like this move. You've, you've made the T2 transition. You're upgrading your maxes. You don't have to start a fight right now, but that's going to give Chishado a chance to step forward. He's got superior medium tank count, so that's going to force start him back, and these grave robbers in the back are getting huge value. So a nice little reclaim field forming here, 1.6k metal, and these grave robbers are going to find a lot of value here, but Stardom's revealing his T2 tech, and that instantly Chisato steps forward here, pushing into his opponent. These pounders are really helping him press this issue here. Stardom's kiting back. What is the transition looking like in Chisato's main base? No transition just yet to T2, so... Perfectly content here to stay on the T1 tech, force this fight here in the middle of the map for a moment, but I like to see him start thinking about a transition. Sardom is just increasing these tiger tank numbers, and after a certain point, you're gonna be able to kite your T1 army. All day. Really leveraging these grave robbers, you're getting so much work right now. 2.6k metal in the middle. I mean, if he turned those on to reclaim, he could instantly get up a T2 lab. Oh, here we go. Just now comes online. Going advanced construction vehicle first. So wants to start working on upgrading these mexes, but Stardom already has three T2 mexes. He's working on a fourth mex. Big T1 versus T2 fight in the middle of the map here. Nice control here from Stardom. Just never giving Chisato the fight he really needs. Look at this T1 army. Just pressing forward here, buying time for these grave robbers. Just been getting so much value here in the back. And looks like Chisato is going to be spreading his army out, so he knows he can attack everywhere at once, and Stardom has to group his tanks up to trade efficiently here, but that's going to give him an opportunity to step forward and maybe take out these grave robbers that have been getting a lot of value, so grave robbers all go down. 13 Tiger tanks already finished. A lot of mexes on the right side getting cleaned up. More damage as Chisato's tanks roll onto the side ground here. So, a lot of damage here. It's buying a lot of time for Chisato to get his own T2 transition up. I'd like to see him get two of these advanced construction vehicles out, upgrading his mexes, but he's just content to sit on one for now. T1 tanks looking for some value anywhere they can. Turn towards the ace, uh, advanced mexes. He could have gotten a lot of wind turbines here if he had moved left, but he didn't really know that. Meanwhile, T2 versus T2 in the middle of the map. LLT is helping out quite a bit, especially with these paralyzer drones. If you could get a couple of stuns on these, you might be able to pick off one of these low health tanks. But the air units of stardom are going to come in and clean up those drones for now. I feel like this game is kind of heating up, you know, we're 17 minutes into the match. Both players on T2, they've got their air tech out. Working on upgrading their mexes. Last few T1 units going down here. Trying to find their value. To see how inefficient those units become once you get uh, enough T1 units out. T2 units out, excuse me. Sorry, Stardom's commander weirdly, strangely vulnerable here for a moment, but a couple of Tiger tanks. Gonna do short work cleaning these units up for now. Somehow a random thug gets quite a few wind turbines there and missed, uh, missed how that ended up there, but it looks like all the harassment is done for a moment. Both players are content to sit here for a moment and lick their wounds or try and get to the next phase of the game. Which is Stardom pressing towards the top mid side of the map with six Tigers here, so he's looking for counter damage. 38 kills between these six tanks, that's incredible. He's going to be met with Chisato's own Tigers, so... 
Gonna be shoot away towards his side of the map. Just out working on a, quite a bit of build power here in the middle. I see one advanced construction vehicle upgrading mechs. I see another one in the back. So yeah, finally working on two. Two cons upgrading mechs. Meanwhile, in Stardom's main base. Trying to do the same. He's working on more advanced mechs. Another bot lab. He must have reclaimed his at some point. So he wants to start working on some grave robbers of his own. There's a lot of metal on his side of the map. And some more tanks on the bottom right are going to press Chisato off of this position here. So this is can be a kind of a different phase of the game. It's like you need to position Tigers pretty much everywhere you need them because LLTs do not stop these units. They're super tanky. They deal a lot of damage. Really solid T2 unit here. So Tigers versus Tigers here in the middle of the map. Both players just maintaining a few fighters. Trying to deny those paralyzer drones from showing up and getting like swinging a battle in your favor pretty decisively. Started being super annoying. He's just sending these tigers all across the map. So we see, you look at the mini map here. I mean, he's got tigers everywhere. So, got the choke points moving. Trying to harass here on these extremities. He's got a random tiger tank shot its way, taking out two. T1 mechs and radars. Chisato is stalling on energy at the moment. Sitting at 1.4k. I think both players are kind of hurting for energy at the moment. Stardom's committing a lot to wind right now, which is sitting at 10, so he should have a decent power bank at the moment, but no T2 T2 Geo from either player. So a little too dicey to expand. A lot of a lot of positions on the map are getting raided right now. I mean, look out. We got Tigers on the right side. Tigers in the middle of the map. Got 10 versus 6 here at the moment. So Chisato took a lot of counter damage here. I mean, where is this game at? Look at these statistics. Just dead even on metal produced here. 21 minutes into the game. Both players fairly even on energy at the moment. Fairly even tank counts as well. I mean, look at all these LLTs. Just pretty much useless against these Tiger tanks at this time in the game. I'd like to see either player just commit to more mobile build power on the map. They just don't have enough construction vehicles to send and retake these um, retake these peripheral expansions all around their their side of the river, right? So we see that from Chisato. He's getting a bot lab out. He's trying to get his own resers. Stardust has been working on the same thing, so he's got quite a few out on his side of the map. Now, where is this going to go from here? I mean, the game is fairly stable. I mean, they have a T2 economy. A lot of A solars here from Chisato. It's interesting that's such like a strong base. So he's got 1.8k e e per tick compared to his opponent, who's just mostly on wind turbines and just half that at the moment. So really interesting choice choices here from both players and how they want to you know shape their economies. Yet arrived at you know such relatively even spots. So. Tiger Tank's moving in here, and there's enough here from blue to prevent this from getting too, too much damage. Even a bomber's showing up, but... Got these, you know, scraps of dogfights in the air going down. Trying to contest the skies, and I think this is going to be shoot away here from our blue player. So he lost his two in factory. He can just go forward and remake that, even reclaim those units. Meanwhile, on... Stardom side of the map, there's five tanks dangerously close to these wind turbine farms. I don't think he I don't think he could step in. I mean there's like a Resbot army right here. Ready to reclaim whatever Chisada loses. But he's gonna find a couple of T2 Mexes for his dribble, so not a bad trade here. 
from our blue player who's even getting some more counter damage here so finding these lone isolated construction vehicles a couple of fighters being dealt with and suddenly blue looks like he's in a better position he's got a big ball of tanks nine tiger tanks heading right for the main base he's got tiger tanks on the high ground that have yet to be dealt with stardom just now finishes the t2 or t3 p gen so he's really going to be able to rip through this metal he has saved up really start pumping out these tiger tanks but how is he going to deal with these nine tigers that are heading right towards his main base i mean a few of them are kind of damaged Tigers on the high ground are finally going to get cleaned up, but look at this fight here in the middle. So Stardom steps forward, but he's out of E. He can't degun. He's cloaking his commander. Just Chisada know this is here. He barely gets one degun off. Takes out a couple of tanks here. That was a dicey situation. I don't think Star uh, Chisada was paying attention. He could have killed that commander. I feel like. More tanks rotating around the main base. Somehow this single tank has yet to be dealt with. Still finding damage. Looks like it's finally going to be cleaned up. But these tanks are kind of harassing the main base even to start them. So Trisato really has them up on the ropes here. LOT is going down on the opposite side of the map. And finally these Tigers find the wind, wind farp farms. I mean, they're surrounded by Tigers, but they're going to get their damage here. Taking out a lot of the E. Is he going to get the T3 fusion? He's right-clicked it. It's going down 20% health, 10%. Goes down. Takes a lot of wind turbines with him. And I think this is shaping up to be the beginning of the end. I mean, Stardom sitting at half the economy of his opponent. Tiger tank still rolling into the main base, finding their damage. These two guards do a little bit better job taking those out, actually. Not bad job, but he doesn't have enough E to support the amount of res bots he has. Trying desperately to reclaim this uh this fusion corpse. We have a couple of bot labs here on the top side of the map and a fusion re reactor excuse me this is online keeping stardom in the game excuse me suddenly it looks completely even <laughs> all these red spots are going to get a lot of value here so we're going to be able to turn on all of these tiger tanks sitting on the main base another fusion reactor is going up so but the amount of t2 maxes are starting to ch uh really matter i mean look at all these t2 mexes that have been upgraded here for from our from our blue player tiger tank still harassing sharking around the main base gonna get this energy storage perhaps but here's the counter punch from from stardom here a lot of res tiger tanks 16 tanks Heading right for this right side. And a T2 Geo has been queued up. So just a huge economy investment. And a T2 Geo is done for stardom. How did I miss this? This is just T2 Geo sitting here out in the open. Giving him so much economy. Suddenly has got 4.1k E per second. just able to res things in a couple of seconds here but he doesn't have enough tanks to keep keep up with these tigers a single res tiger is going to get a lot of value here and meanwhile on the other side of the map start him to split split up his forces he's got 13 tanks heading right towards the middle here but there's enough tigers from blue to shoo this away and a lot of res bots out here from chisato What a great game from both players and see it's starting to see a big air commitment here from our blue player i'm wondering if we're going to see a t2 air switch but he's got two aircraft plants working working on fighters and drones he wants to take a big fight he wants to end this game 
This has gone on for long enough. I, I don't think Chisada knows the extent of this outpost here, but there's so much build power and the fusion here. There's just a, a naked Geo on the bottom right side of the or bottom mid side of the map, but I think we're getting the final battle here. A lot of tanks step forward, but all these paralyzer drones show up. Starting to get their value. Like all these tanks have been EMP. Look at this. I mean, he's trying to shoot away these tanks here on the uh, on the right side here, so he has to split up his forces. But this air superiority is just really starting to show here from our blue player. Really winning this fight here in the center. He's yet to deploy all these drones, so he's finally stepping forward. Right into the middle of these res bots gonna walk into the thick of it. Half of the res bots and are gonna go down. No, but suddenly Stardom's winning the fight here. <laughs> this game is so wild, I don't even know who's winning. <laughs> So many res bots from both players just looking for their value here, but we have these two, three tanks in the back here from Chisato. Is he gonna take out the fusion? He needs to repair it. So close, goes down, takes out a lot of build power. <clears throat> Look at all these paralyzer drones. So many drones. I mean, he's got one anti air I see shooting up at him, but I don't think that's enough. Another one shows up in the back here, but. You step forward to get a little bit of value. Look at all these tigers here from, from Stardom, though. This is starting to get scary. What is this, like 30 tiger tanks versus just nine? I mean, no, no, no amount of drones is going to stop this army. But he's got enough anti-air to, to keep off this. So go up to 10 thrashers here. So the paralyzer drones really can't jump on this. I mean, he might get try and get a couple of tanks here on the outside, but he can't engage with this army. But here we go, the T2 switch. What How did I miss this? A dragon is already finished. He's working on his second one at the moment. Chisato's moving his commander to top right. He just knows. He has to know he's in the lead. He's got like a 30k metal advantage over his opponent. Metal income's relatively even, but he's... Chisato's taking the lead at an uh, energy income, but look at all these tiger tanks. That's a lot of anti-air, but we don't see any anti- <laughs> We don't see any commitment to air from, from Stardom, who's trying to get uh, T3 gantry up. I don't think that's the play. You have to know some kind of T2, T2 air transition is on the way with this kind of commitment to air. How many of these dragons is he going to go go for before uh, kind of revealing this? Another one is almost halfway done. Stardom's looking for a fight. <clears throat> T2 Geo goes down 41 Tiger tanks here in the middle of, of the map. This is wild. So here we go, two dragons. <laughs> Heading across the other side of the map. Look at these units. They have drones in tow. Start of this, this should like trigger some kind of all-in counterattack. He's moving all of his tanks towards top right. Moving his thrashers across the river. Those are amphibious, so that's a great play here. But look at these dragons. Just roasting the main base. Start has cloaked his commander. Does, does Chisada know where he's at? He gets decloaked for a second there? I think these two dragons are enough to clean this commander. I'm actually not even sure. I've never seen this before. This is wild. So yeah, he knows. He's targeting commander. He knows where it's at. The anti-air is showing up finally, but a third dragon shows up. More fighters streaming into the sky. These dragons are getting low, but the commander's at like 50% health. One dragon goes down. The second one goes down. We have another full health dragon here. This commander is getting low. T2 Bomber shows up. I think this is enough anti-air to finally shoot this away. 14 Thrashers just wailing on this dragon here, but 
He's attacking the ground. He doesn't know where the commander's at. It's cloaked. And I missed it, but on the other side of the map, 41 Tiger tanks cleared out over the main base. And, ah, oh, dang, I was too fixated on those Tiger... Uh, too fixated on the dragons. But, yeah, Stardom's going to take game two. That was a wild ending there. Um, too much a commitment to the T2 area. He couldn't get the snipe off. Wow, what a game. So we're going to go to game three. That's pretty incredible. Sorry I missed that. Uh, those tanks rolling up the hill there, but didn't have enough uh, Tigers to hold on to to his main base there. And Stardom takes the game. We're going to be going to game three here. So I hope you guys like that. <laughs> like that game. If you do, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of that one. That was a pretty wild game for sure. Moving on to game number three. And here we are in Desolation. So first time seeing this map being played on in the pool. And let me skip these introductions and show our players. So spawning on the bottom side of the map, playing as the blue pieces, we have Stardom and his opponent in the top left side of the map playing is the red cortex commander we have chisada so we're down to a best of one boys who is going to win both these players trying to get that first position out of their group trying to make it to the round of 18. we'll see who's going to uh, be able to take the game off their opponent and start him he's got a pretty interesting starting position here Doing the classic three next start, but a little, little bit of an odd position. I don't mind it. He's a little closer to that plateau. A lot of metal up here and a great way to rotate into your opponent's side of the map. So this is Desolation. Haven't seen too many games on it. I haven't played too many on it myself, but it's a pretty classic map from what I understand. It's been in the map pool for a while and just a kind of a smaller 1v1 map. So I wanted to... Throw this in the pool. See how it goes. Definitely looking to change it up as we get into uh, subsequent seasons of the Bar Pro League. Yeah, and this is Group A. Winner's match. Should be looking to cast a few more of the matches from that replay pack. So, got all the round of 16 replays so well done guys getting those uploaded we've got all of the round of 16 games saved into a google doc so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in downloading and i can send you the link make those available to you so you can uh, kind of study these games i really want to look at that last open for both players um stardom had a pretty cool pretty cool bot open on that map and I did like Chisato's open as well. Playing vehicles and kind of cutting diagonally across the map with his commander. So what about this game? Chisato has opened core bots. Playing pretty safe. He's got a lot of wind already made here. Single construction bot expanding. He's got his fourth mechs completed. Meanwhile, his opponent... It's got this nice nice radar up. I don't mind it not having this vision on the high ground. He's going to get that in a moment here with this construction bot. And this is interesting position from Stardom. I mean, look how close he is to moving onto this high ground, right? So he's going to beat... He's going to beat Chisato there. Huge build cues from both of those construction bots. And this can be the awkward part of this game. So let's take a look at these player cameras for a moment. And see how see how these players do this. I haven't seen this uh, this series yet. So Shadow plays not quite top down. This is how I like to play her. Nice and zoomed out. A little bit skewed. Pretty interesting. Take a look at his opponent Stardom's camera. Try and get that on. So playing. Pretty much top down, really zoomed out. Man, 
Man, both these guys are so good. So sick. One of them is going to advance to the round of A. I'm really looking forward to those matches next week. It's going to be pretty insane. We're going to cast all the quarterfinals, so... LSR and I talked it out. We're going to cast... All of the quarterfinal matches. Should be bringing in a couple of co-casters, so... I'll have to see how that goes. Gonna reach out to some people, see, see if they can uh, come out and cast. Kind of left it on that player view a little too long. Sorry about that. But let's. Where is this game devolved into here? So we've got Chisato kind of making a play, trying to slow down this expansion on this hill ground, high ground. Stardom got the better of it. He's got the grunt numbers for now, so Chisato's forced to pull back. And on the right side of the map, another little feeder is develop developing here. Grunt versus grunt. These kind of engagements can be just such like a knife fight, even. A lot of chance for uh, players to show off their control here. Uh, Stardom steps forward, takes out a couple of these grunts, and that's going to force Chisato to, to retreat and fall back. <clears throat> Pretty close game here from both players. Trying to keep an eye on both of these fights, we see. Stardom stepping forward here, getting a lot of these grunts. Chisato should pull back these damage grunts. He's kind of got them in the center. This isn't of strongest force as it looks, but he's doing a good job expanding. He's got a construction turret up. He's got two cons expanding to his side of the map. Stardom hasn't quite locked down this corner, but he's got two LTs already made. That's really nice to see. So buttoned up this expansion. I wonder if yeah, he's going to continue expanding. <coughs> Excuse me. Continue expanding, and a lot of grunts here moving into the middle of the map here from Chisato. So he's going to catch this career robber in these few grunts. I don't think he's going to continue moving into there. Pull back for a moment. And Stardom is going to find an undefended construction bot here on this high ground. So really nice sense here to, to move up into this plateau here. Chisato's a little bit out of position. And it's light on grunts, it seems like. I mean, is he transitioning? He's got a second construction turret up. Three solar collectors. Meanwhile, Stardom. He's got his first construction up. Four solars. Really solid position here from uh, from Stardom. Look at that. He's got, he's got three res bots already out. Construction bots expanding. Just creeping onto the map. This is cool. I'm gonna have to come back and watch this game. This is really solid play here from uh from from Stardom. I like how he's playing bots here. Got Chisato stepping forward on the plateau here. He's gonna get a nice trade. This exploiter isn't quite finished yet. He's gonna take out most of the grunts. He's targeting the construction bot. I don't think that was the play. Doesn't end up going down, and Stardom hangs on to everything there, so. It looked like a little red favored. Stardom ha ends up holding on there and quite the donation here, actually. So it instantly just goes into reclaiming that couple hundred metal. See those units on the high ground got, got dealt with. The mechs is down. Construction bot wreck is sitting there. But this exploiter in the middle of the map, I mean, look how, look how well that chokes up just this one lane here. Grunts are going to have a hard time moving through that for now. So we're going to have to wait until... A vehicle transition happens. Resbot's still getting value. Still finding grunts to resurrect, so. A lot of halos on units we see from, from our blue player. And Shisato steps forward, catches a building LLT. But Stardom cuts him off there, shaves off a few of those grunts. Nice little. Nice little battle there. See, Stardom is feeling confident here. So he's going to step onto Yudi's side of the map. Take out this LLT. That's going to go down and he's going to get the expansion with it. So nice little catch here. 
You do hands on to the construction bot, so that's not going to go down. And even getting a nice arc on his opponents there, so despite having fewer numbers, is getting the better of the trade there. Finally, Stardom reacts. Stepping forward, he's going to catch a construction bot. It's going to end up going down. And hangs on to that superior numbers. So this is getting... Seems like pretty blue favorite, but Chisato is up like about 1k on metal. I think we'll see him moving more into this A solar phase of the game. So yeah, trying to get this first A list solar up. Another solar collector. He's overmade E, it seems. So he's working on some energy converters. And Stardom's meanwhile has transitioned to T1 tanks and is getting some incisors out. So trying to build up the sophistication of his army for a moment. Both players not attacking, just working on getting their expansions up. Chisano feels a little bit behind on this high ground. You can see this position, but that reclaim field has gone to him, so these resbots are getting a lot of value here. And I see a pounder being made. Really strong unit on these small laney maps. And look at this commitment to the tech here. 25 grunts. Finding this high ground again. No expansion for you. That is a huge commitment of uh, grunts here. And how is Chisato going to respond? He's going to step forward here in the middle of the map. But a couple of LLTs are going to shut this down. Grunts right behind it. Twenty-five grunts versus an LLT and ten grunts. This is quite the trade. How is this gonna go down? Self detonation is gonna take out a few of these. Not a good value as the uh, the first one we saw. That was almost super clutch though, taking out most of those grunts. But oh no, Stardom's gonna try running through the center of the map. I don't think this is the play. Single file into exploiters. Some of these grunts are even damaged. But he's going to get the surround on here in the middle of the map. Take out all those units. This is getting kind of wild. How does... How does Blue lose this game? I mean, look at this position here. He's got a stack of LLTs in the center. He's got a pounder. He's making anti-air. Scaling wind. Two grunts here in the middle are going to catch uh, catch that expanding construction bot. And here in the middle of the map, all this metal is going to going to start him. So he's quickly just gobbling up this metal as quickly as he can. And here's the counterattack. 30 grunts making their way to this plateau. Stardom doesn't have enough of a defense here. I mean, look at this. Just a single exploiter and an LLT isn't enough to stop this. He's trying to get, he's trying to get some grunts and a pounder here. But that is not going to happen in time. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, chisato has got another pretty strong group of units looking to move into the center. But here we go. Chisato stepping forward, shaving off a little bit of the economy here. Start him kind of punching back in the middle. He's got these two pounders taking out that group of mexes. Meanwhile, on the mid right, trying to keep up with all this action. These grunts clearing through this expansion. I don't really like losing these pounders. You have to protect these. You have to have them supported or keep them in with a push. See a couple more pounders here or here. These pounders on the high ground. Gonna help start them secure that back for himself. But look at this force on the right side. I mean, just another 30 grunts. Resbot gang shows up. And now these tanks are getting starting to get surrounded here. These grunts finally taking out what was left on this high ground here. Blue doing what he can to clean up this forest, trying to resecure his plateau. Both commanders are staring at each other. This is getting feeling this is getting kind of tense here. Both commanders are in shooting distance of each other these two pounders getting a lot of value you have to get these you have to protect these units they're just so strong in this position right now
start him doing what he can to clean up this plateau here. He's trying to prevent his opponent from taking this mid expansion, but I don't think this is going to be a good trade. chisato has got a great arc here. Stardom pulls back. Doesn't want to give uh, his opponent a really favorable trade. And finally, finally hangs onto this plateau. So I'm going to zoom out here. Take a look at these positions. Both players still haven't really secured their plateaus. And even on metal produced. Both commanders are staring each other down. And these pounders are stepping forward. I hear some air units actually. What is this? Paralyzer drones being made. Not sure where those are pooling up at. Just outside the main base. So, start him keeping that a secret for now. He's got his res bots on the plateau, getting their value. Chisato's doing the same. And we see, we see the position Red has now, the, the advantage he has, really denying stardom these mexes. I mean, he has yet to secure his, but he can freely take those. Meanwhile, Chisato is really preventing his opponent from expanding to these, these four mexes. Stardom wants to position, though. He's got four mexes here. Or, excuse me. He's got some missile trucks. Kind of peppering away at the position, but he's down on medium tanks. And has yet to reveal these drones. He doesn't have the firepower to really take a fight. Like, he can sustain and attrition down this position. But Chisato is perfectly content, you know, healing through this missile truck damage. And porking up these four mechs here. So, does Stardom feel like he's on the clock? Does he feel like he needs to make an attack? I think he does. He's stepping forward with his drones. Chisato instantly pulls back. Starts kiting with these tanks. He's got the grunts in front. I don't like this so much. You want to keep those behind these pounders and, and uh, lashers, but yeah, these grunts are just going to evaporate to these medium tanks. And finally, um, you have these, lash these lashers left over just right next to medium tanks, so this fight is going to go right towards the shadow's favor. And these grunts from the other side of the map suddenly show up. They're going to run into so many LOTs, but this is... Just a single commander cornered against so many units, and I think this is it. Chisato's gonna go to the round of eight. Starting calls OP. Well played from both players. That was a really nice series, so really enjoyed casting that one. Hope you guys liked watching it. That's it for me. Thank you all for watching if you made it this far, and I'll see you guys in the next replay.